The method used for trimming a toolpath to a boundary has been much improved for the release of PAM or 2011. A new 3D limiting algorithm has been introduced which will ensure much better, much more accurate and much more robust results when we trim a toolpath to a boundary. To see the effects of this new 3D limiting method we must first go back into PowerMill 2010 and take a look at the old method. So you can see on the screen I have PowerMill 2010 open. If we look in the title bar at the top you can see it clearly states PowerMill 2010. And I'm going to open an example part. In, in this case it's a dental bridge application. We're going to create a 3D offset toolpath to machine over the top of this part. But first of all I need to create a silhouette boundary to limit the toolpath. So I have a batched silhouette boundary already prepared. So all I simply need to do is apply that calculation. So there we have a 3D silhouette boundary on the model and then I'm simply going to create a 3D offset spiral toolpath with smoothing inside that boundary. Already we can see the problem starting to appear. And if we zoom in we can see that the toolpath has dropped down to the bottom of the block inside the boundary in several places. So this is obviously potentially uh, a disastrous situation as the tool dives down to the bottom of the block. So let's now do exactly the same in PAML 2011. So I'm just going to Alt-Tab across to PAML 2011. Uh, here we have the, exactly the same project open, the same two batched toolpath and batched boundary. So we'll go to the settings for the boundary, apply as before, accept, and again we go to our 3D offset toolpath, spiral switched on, smoothing switched on as previous in PowerMill 2010. I'm going to calculate the toolpath in PowerMill 2011 this time. And there we get a much better result. Because of the new 3D trimming algorithm used in the boundary trimming, you can see the toolpaths are nicely trimmed correctly to the boundary.